What are we going to take? The Jaguar or the... We're going to take the little messy mini. Mini copper. This is the ring of the... Um, yeah, the ring road. The, of the city. Yeah. Cut or something? No, just we have one yeah. wall surrounding everything, like a high, like a. Yeah, high it's in lots of different buildings. They're all kind of close to each other. Okay. But they're all in separate buildings, so you'll have one building for English and mm -hmm. another building. E-Type, which is the most desirable Jaguar ever. This is a beautiful Jaguar, E-Type. E-Type, and is it comfortable inside? It probably would be, very luxurious. Alright, let's just see this play. So Jaguar, interesting. I just like, it's not, look, the nose. <laughs> yes, it's lovely, it's a beautiful car. This is Jaguar, made in Coventry, started in Coventry, in England. That's why Rob is having a Jaguar, is it? Because he worked for Jaguar. Okay, that's interesting. Right, they're beautiful. You want me to take a picture of you with it? Okay. So it's like... Right. I might not have a chance. Coventry, Coventry, Coventry. This chap who made the sewing, famous for his sewing machines, single sewing okay. machines. Okay. He made cars to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, and then the Starleys, sorry. <laughs> James Starley. There you go. Ah. The man they call the father of the cycling cycle industry. Okay. It all began when I was running a sewing machine company in Coventry with my colleague Josiah Turner. Fabulous. Josiah's nephew, Roly B. Turner, brought over one of the newfangled Velocipedes from France, and we started making those as well. So the machines and then the moved to the wheels, yeah. The idea comes. So I set up a new company with William Hillman, and we started making my improved bicycle design. Okay. I suppose they call me the father of the cycle industry because I was always inventing. About it's an interesting city you have here. It's just like a bicycle concept, that's the chain, and now yeah. it's it's yeah. what they use in the car. In the car it has also a chain to the engine and to the... Yeah. It's almost the same. That, yeah. So this is the original one that was... Not necessarily the original one, this one was made in 1888. Uh -huh. 1896. 1896. Those two guys, a bit famous, I think. I don't know if I've seen yeah. them before. They just do Okay. This is made by Humber. Uh -huh. It just oh. says that Britain and, in, and Coventry is quite the leading in things. When you like a car like that, they're beautiful. All right. I love a car like it's that. It's just... You could still get it made. I mean, give the design to someone and they'll try to make it. It's designed mm -hmm. so beautifully, so comfortable. And a nice seat. And Imagine, yeah. It's nice to have it in a, in a yeah. big garden. Look at it in the morning. Oh, no, I'd like to drive around in it. <laughs> Cyclist to 
Hitler used to have one of those cars, I don't know. No. Okay. So, like, so they have a wood frame mm -hmm. with thin metal panels okay. nailed onto them. So before they make uh, to make them lighter and so on. Yeah. Because there are engines in them, isn't there? Yeah. With cylinders. Yeah. Okay. The first ones were cycled. First ones were more of the chain. All right, that's it. That's and the then, engine being made. Yep. And then. And then they moved on to engines with pistons. Okay. When you say a car, it just say it's, it's a great invention, but then everything started from the dynamo and turbine, and it's good. Rover. Okay. Uh huh. Stylish, more stylish. Morris, based in Cowley near Oxford, produced Britain's first 100 pound car. Three years later, they were making 100,000 cars a year. In 1931, there were about a million private cars on the country's roads. I know. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah. It's just you could lay in there or something. Oh my god, it's nice. Beautiful. Okay. Queen Mary. I can all the current queen's mum. Okay. The current queen is Elizabeth, so her mum. Yeah. And she used to like go on ceremonial or yeah. yes. gets escorted on, on this one. It's like a caravan, it's just big. This is very interesting. This is when the tragedy starts. <laughs> okay. All right. These are fake people. So let's take a picture. So Britain started the first locomotive with the, uh, you know, locomotive, the train evaporation and so on. And then they started also the first cars, and yeah. which is just great. You're a great nation. Spooky. <laughs> this is what it would have been like when 
All right, in the Second World War. Ah, oh, it's very... And Hitler is trying to get... to get the... the Gantra people, the Coventry people down. This was an air raid shelter that people would have in their gardens, so when bombs were coming, they would go and hide in their air raid shelter. It's made um, of concrete, or? Um, no, it's made of um, metal. It okay. It really have stopped a bomb, but maybe we. It's just a shelter from a near bomb or something. That's. <laughs> Nice and creepy. <laughs> Should we start running or something? <laughs> oh, a lot about Coventry. <laughs> Thanks. It's really good to have a savvy guide. Like, Really classic. Some people go on the streets with some of these cars and somewhere the one we saw back. Yeah. And it's like the first one we saw the Jaguar. Yeah. That's really. 1945. And this one? Right. I was looking for a cab to, to drive. This one is quite like or chubby or something, is it? <laughs> this is quite a modern one. 2014? Yeah, 2014 by Taxi, which I think it is. Okay, love to. We're gonna play here, isn't it? Right. Hello, Taxi. Yeah, <laughs> too right. All right. All this used to be the Humber Hillman factory. Now it's a housing oh. estate. A lot okay. of people from around here feel quite sad that there's nothing left from those days. Mm -hmm. When I came to Coventry City, it was a really big city. Some of the lads I knew came in from Ireland, Scotland, further away than that. India, Pakistan. All right. That's quite an interesting model to yes. to life, ranges and so on.
just shine and pastry mm -hmm. Got some of my friends who are crazy about cars. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, just I know this is quite childish for for speeding on streets and <laughs> well, if she, she hasn't seen the scars, and this then... Right. Yeah. It's actually a Rolls Royce. Is that made in? Uh... I don't know where this one was made, but probably in Britain. Yeah, it's probably British. Like okay. Coventry. Oh. <laughs> That's another one. 763 miles. I noticed they're getting bigger with huge engines and so on. So that they don't lift off. Yep, because, because the speed from the back. Mm -hmm. oh. And it has a pony chops to get the wind. I think it's this is the idea from which airplanes came. No, we had airplanes and... at the same time. Okay. They probably used airplane technology to get their engines faster. Okay. Let me just make a quick sweep of this car. We're living that way? Okay. This is a hell of a car. Oh god. The engine. Huge engine. And looks like it had some cuts. Okay. And it is a mini copper, I think. There's another one. Oh god. Huge. Interesting. Good. Uh huh. And so they would wear this inside, and then.